The next thing we want to do is to create a database to store the data that's going to come in from the turtle tracker. And this is covered in another course. If you haven't taken a course on relational databases, contact your professor uh, and they can help you create a script. So to do that, we click on the services tab. And if you open up the database section, you should see Java DB. And you might have to right click and say start server. But once you start the server, uh, go to right click on Java DB and say create database and let's call it turtle tracker and then for username and password I'm going to put capital TTS 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 this is for turtle tracking system and I'm going to say OK and it's going to crank for a second you'll see some output here in the bottom and it will create the database and when it does you'll see two things under Java DB you'll see our database and below it you'll see a JDBC Jer Derby for Turtle Tracker. I want you to click the plus beside the JDBC Derby and right click on it and say execute command and a new window will appear and then take your script that you can download from the course. Uh, this will create the database tables and you can just do a uh, edit select all edit copy and then come to the execution window and do a right click and say paste and then when you see this little uh, yellowish orange cylinder as a radio button um, not radio button but a, a hotkey button uh, it says run SQL click that and when it runs, you'll see an output window at the bottom. Make sure you don't see any errors. OK. And also under the, the JDBC Derby, you'll see TSS. And if you open the TSS and you open the tables, you'll see that we have three tables now. And then there is another script to insert data. This is just some sample data. So you want to also do an edit, select all, edit, copy and then delete this in your execution window and then right click and say paste and this will put some sample data in and also then click the run SQL button and scroll through your output window make sure there's no errors and now when you go on the services tab to the JDBC Derby TSS tables you can right click on each table and say view data and it'll show you the data. So we have three records in for breed. We have three records in for location. <clears throat> and we have five records in for species. So now we have a database that's able to store the data from our application.